us for my case. Boom, baby! Call us. We're the Law Brothers. Call now or visit lawbrothers.com. Clippers, Jazz, Friday at 6.30 on KTLA 5. Now at four, a cyclist fatally struck and his body dragged for nearly a mile in a hit and run crash that witnesses say may have been intentional. Good afternoon, this is the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Pedro Rivera. And I'm Samantha Cortese. It happened this morning in South LA. Yeah, this evening, police are asking for the public's health in identifying the driver and the van involved in this deadly crime. KTLA's Chris Wolf joins us live from South LA with the very latest on this investigation. Chris. Yeah, Pedro and Sam, this crime was particularly gory with that hit-and-run victim dragged for a mile through South L.A. The body finally ended up here at this intersection. This is South Broadway and El Segundo Boulevard. We are right next to a park. The victim's body was under a tent for hours, and all of the streets in this area were closed off for the investigation. Authorities are still searching for any witnesses and any evidence. A broken bicycle, sneakers, and a body dump in broad daylight in the middle of a busy intersection. The LAPD says around 9 a.m. Tuesday morning, a man was riding his bicycle near the 105 freeway in South L.A. For reasons unknown, the driver of an older model van slammed into the cyclist, causing the man's body to become trapped in the van's undercarriage. And the vehicle didn't stop. The driver kept going, dragging the body, taking several turns, possibly trying to dislodge it. That finally happened a mile from impact. KTLA obtained surveillance footage capturing that moment. The van moves slowly along South Broadway, and when it crosses El Segundo Boulevard, the victim's body breaks free. We've got a lot of video to get. This is a this crime scene is really big. Um, so we're kind of just retracing everything, every turn, every street to see what we find. I heard the I heard the impact, the impact. I was close enough to hear the impact. I thought it might have been an animal or something, you know. But then it wasn't until I got up here to do my morning walks and I was like, yo, what the hell was that? I mean, how do you not know that you don't have something under your car? How do you not know that you hit something or someone? Authorities describe the victim as an older Hispanic male known in the... So was this intentional, possibly assault with a deadly weapon or possibly murder, or was this just a very bad accident that turned into a felony hit and run? The investigation continues. Anyone with information should contact the LAPD. We'll have more in the next hour. For now, reporting live in South LA, I'm Chris Wolf. KTLA 5 News. And hopefully someone can come forward. Thank you, Chris. Drama you would expect to see on a reality TV show continues to unfold on Capitol Hill. In the face of right-wing outrage and opposition from former President Donald Trump, Congressman Tom Emmer has dropped his bid to become Speaker of the House. The Minnesota Congressman's decision came just hours after he secured the nomination. Emmer is now the third nominee to drop out after Majority Leader Steve Scalise and hard-right conservative Jim Jordan failed to secure the needed 217 votes to become speaker. It leaves the House of Representatives in chaos and unable to pass any legislation. There's a lot of work to do. You know, we've got uh, an aid package to Israel that we've been working on. So we also have some other legislation, uh, things like putting additional sanctions against Iran uh, in their oil sales. That's how they fund a lot of their terrorism. In an effort to end the paralysis that has halted the House, Republicans may empower Speaker Pro Tem Patrick McHenry to lead the House until early January. House GOP members will hold another closed-door vote tonight within the hour. The death toll is rapidly climbing in the Middle East as Israel steps up aerial assaults against Hamas ahead of an expected ground invasion. More than 7,000 people on both sides have been killed, and the humanitarian crisis in Gaza is said to be deteriorating quickly, with relief supplies not arriving quickly enough. One of the two Israeli hostages released yesterday by Hamas is talking about her experience in captivity. I've been through okay. hell.